Jack Stogies in Franklin, Tennessee, and um, they told me about a cigar they got here in their humidor that looked like it might be something good to add to the St. Patrick's Day prize pack. Oh, whose hands? We got a Vanna White here. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah. Look who's this. Hey, Crossroads Vanna. <laughs> Crossroads Vanna. Hey, guys. So, uh, Greg, what do, you, what do you know about these cigars here? Well, this is a local guy. Uh, he, he lives just south of here in Spring Hill. Okay. Uh, and his name is Brian Jackson. Um, and he uh, was looking to do a cigar for his golf outings. Wanted something affordable that he could take out, but a good quality stick. So he uh, did these blends, and I think they're rolled in Honduras, I believe. But uh, he spells it, he's got a real Irish heritage, so he spells it, uh, his last name is Jackson, but he spells it with the Irish spelling of J-A-X-S-I-N. So Jackson, Is that the Irish spelling? I believe so. I don't know. Well, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, JacksonCigars.com, J-A-X-S-I-N Cigars.com. But, uh, they're good sticks. Um, and I thought, since you're doing the Boonski Extravaganza Spectacular yeah. uh, Irish-based yeah. contest, I thought you might be interested in picking up they do look some, pretty good. some uh, Irish-based Irish motif look at that. smokes. There's some nice looking sticks. So, yeah, I think I've had this one. It's the, uh, this is a Connecticut Shade Wrapper. It's uh -huh. a mild, creamy, very good. They call this the Tavern uh, Residence, and it's good. But uh, the guy's a cool guy. Apparently, uh, I don't know him well, but the guys here know him pretty well. And uh, say so he's got a, he does, he's into microbrews, and it's got a little pub at his place. And, and uh, he wanted to do some cigars. So they're pretty cool. cool. Try them out. All right. Thanks, Greg.